Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to control when uh, Windows 10 does its updates. Um, you can't completely control this, but there are things that you can do to keep it from happening at inopportune times. So right now we're looking at uh, what we would call an early version of Windows 10. The, the anniversary edition of Windows 10 came out uh, approximately August of 2016. If you don't have that edition yet, this is uh, the process that you will follow. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your start button in the lower left and then click on settings. And when the window comes up, at the very bottom, I'm just waiting for that here. At the bottom, we have update and security. Okay, click on that. And at the top on the left hand side, you have your Windows Update tab. All right. So, and that gives you your Windows Update details on the right hand side. And what you want to do is click on Advanced Options at the bottom and make sure that instead of automatic being checked or selected at the top in the drop down, choose Notify to schedule a restart. Okay, so basically that means Windows will for a time anyway uh, delay the actual update, let you know that the update is available, and give you the opportunity to say when you would like it to run. All right. And then you can hit the little back button here. Oh, I guess one thing you might also do while you're in here is uh, make sure that give me updates for other Microsoft product uh, when I update Windows is checked here, this one. Um, that mean that makes sure that uh, things like Microsoft Office are also updated with Windows. All right, so click your back button there, and uh, should there be updates, there would be a little schedule thing here. It would tell you uh, a time when it feels that it's appropriate, usually around 3 a.m. Right, uh, that it wants to push the update through. But you can change that time. We don't have a time here at the moment. There's no updates here. Oh, here comes some. Let's wait a moment. OK, so here's a view showing what happens when uh, downloads are available and ready to go. And you can see that uh, they'll reschedule a start time when you don't usually use your device. So they're saying 3.30 AM tomorrow looks good, right? Or if you like you can select a start time and you know just go ahead and say if you want it at 5 a.m. You, you choose the 5 here and you can scroll up and you click the little checkbox here right and you can choose whichever day that you want to reschedule the time within a limited selection or you could simply choose <coughs> restart now which might be a good idea if you know you're leaving for the day for example you can just have it redo uh, have it uh, do the updates and restart and it'll be fresh for you when you come into the office or wherever you are the next day right but this is in the pre-anniversary edition of windows 10 how you would control when your updates occur. So next we'll look at the anniversary edition. So this is the anniversary edition of Windows 10 on the same computer after that computer has been updated. If you click on your start button you'll notice it looks a bit different. They have the uh, permanent scrolling list here instead of the all apps link at the bottom. And the second icon up on the left is your settings icon. Okay. And you get, as you see, it'll tell you what your icons are if you hover over them. All right, so click on your settings icon and similarly go to the bottom of the list into update and security and make sure you're in the Windows Update tab. All right, now you have an additional option which is change active hours. All right, so as it says here, active hours lets us know when you usually use this device. When a restart is necessary to finish installing an update, we won't automatically restart your device during active hours. So, for example, if uh, you work from 9, a little checkbox here, 9 to 5, 
select those times and the computer will not update during those times, right? So it's a nice way to block off uh, a section of hours. And you can only block off uh, 12 hours at a time, right? So you, we could go from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., but we couldn't go from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m., right? That would be 13 hours. So, of course, you can click Save. Now, the thing is, uh, you have to leave your computer on outside of your active hours so that the updates can occur. Right, so uh, make sure that at least a couple of days a week or whatever, you're going to leave your computer on overnight so that uh, the computer can run the updates. Now there's one other option that you may find useful and that's restart options under the change active hours. If you click on that, you can set a custom restart time. Now this only applies as it says here uh, when a restart is scheduled, all right? So if you have updates in the queue, you can specify that one time, the time that you would like the update to roll through. You can't schedule a permanent, you know, I always want my updates to come at 3 a.m. or whatever. Uh, that would be useful. I wish they would give us that, but they haven't. But uh, if there is a scheduled update, you can specifically tell it which time that you want it to run in this area. All right. But otherwise, uh, they'll happen automatically outside of your active hours as long as you leave your computer on uh, outside of your active hours. All right. So that's a, an overview on how to uh, manage the times when your computer updates with Windows 10, sort of the original versions and the new anniversary edition. Thanks for watching.